However, the most profound wisdom and the most mysterious power of Kung Fu is called Qigong. Through breathing and a series of systematic movements, Qigong produces a type of energy called Qi. The Chinese believe that Qi, or energy, normally resides in a place they call Dan Tian in the lower abdomen. Once you can freely direct this energy to a particular part of the body, you can produce enormous power. Direct the chi to your arm as you throw a needle, and it can pierce a piece of glass. Used correctly, qi can make any part of the body as hard as steel. The crown of the head can break iron plates, bricks, sticks, and stones. Hands can smash bricks. and break sticks. Feet can splinter rocks and a star. Even the most delicate parts of the body can become immune to scimitar or spear attack. The stomach can resist a trident stab or can break sticks. The throat can resist attack by spear. In the past, the mysterious Qigong was regarded as mystical or even as magic by some. But studies have found that the Qi movements within the body can be tracked by a heat detector. Of course, the only way to maximize the Qi energy is by repeating the exercises day after day. The human fists are fragile. Although often used in attacks, fists are prone to damage. If you wish to be more powerful, you must strengthen them. Place a piece of paper on a wall. Punch it for two hours without stopping. Replace the paper when it's broken. The wall may deteriorate, but eventually the hand becomes immune. The brain is the most important organ of the human body. Serious injury or damage to the brain can be fatal. To protect it, the skull must be strengthened. All you have to do is hit your skull with your palms for two hours every day to harden it. Then bang your head against a sandbag for two hours to train it to resist the shock of an attack. Hard Qigong masters believe that the skull becomes up to four times harder than that of a normal person after two years of such continuous practice. Another very delicate part of the body, the neck, is particularly vulnerable to attack. Injuries here can lead to paralysis and death. A headstand loads the weight of the entire body onto the neck. Practice an hour every day for a year and then you can progress to neck hanging. exercise consists simply of hanging by the neck from a cloth noose. At first, it is only bearable for two to three seconds. 
but eventually the body can be supported for minutes at a time, by which time you'll have mastered the technique. The iron neck is very useful in actual combat. It enables you to free yourself and counterattack should your enemy have your neck in an arm lock. It is clear 